hey friends this is Vidhan welcome you to my channel today we will solve a problem that asks to find eigenvalues of a matrix it's from June 2012 part B it says the eigenvalues of the matrix A are which option is right it's a square matrix of order 3 by 3 so it will have three eigenvalues possible and that's why each option is containing three eigenvalues now for finding eigenvalues from a square matrix we know there are two standard methods one is the characteristic equation and other is the characteristic polynomial using any one you can find the eigenvalues of a matrix now what extra that we will do in this video is we will find eigenvalues using both the methods one by one why so that we could know both the methods accurately and so that it can be a kind of competitive check that which method is more convenient and which method is more suitable for you and you could adapt it that's why I am doing this so for that you have to be a little patient because it is going to be a little time taking well we know the two methods are one is we can find eigenvalues using characteristic equation and the characteristic equation is a minus lambda i i is the identity matrix and obviously a minus lambda i is finally a matrix but we know when we do determinant then the matrix sign is not required not ideal to use so this is equals to zero and a is what a is the matrix the given matrix since in our problem the matrix name is a that's why we have used a and we also know that we can find eigenvalues using a different method that is characteristic polynomial method in this we have a characteristic polynomial equation that is lambda cube minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus determinant of the given matrix is equal to 0 so this is the characteristic polynomial and this is the characteristic polynomial equation now first of all we will use this method this one and then after we find the eigenvalues using this method then after we will use this method and find the eigenvalues and it is also clear that both the eigenvalues, the eigenvalues from this method and the eigenvalues from this method should be same because they are uh, they are the right method they are equally true methods that's why so first of all this one and from here we know this is trace this is called trace trace is what trace is sum of diagonal elements s2 is the sum of minors of diagonal elements so first of all we will use this method to find the eigenvalues and this is obviously determinant of the given matrix a here now for solving eigenvalues using this we need to have three parameters s1 s2 and determinant of the matrix so let us find them first of all s1 s1 is sum of diagonal elements here this is the diagonal and our diagonal elements are 1 4 and 9 so we will make the sum of them is equals to 14 so we have s1 equals to 14 then we find s2 is the s2 is what 
sum of minors of diagonal elements now the first diagonal element is 1 now the for finding the minor of 1 we will omit this row and we will omit this column so we have 9 into 4 minus 6 into 6 plus because sum of the minors now minor of second element so second diagonal element now the second diagonal element is 4 now minor of 4 how to find we will omit second column we will omit second row and 9 into 1 minus 3 into 3 is the minor plus minor of third diagonal element third diagonal element is 9 how to find minor we will omit this column and we will omit this row so 4 into 1 minus 2 into 2 so we have this is 36 minus 36 0 9 minus 9 0 and this is 4 minus 4 0 so ultimately it's 0 so s2 is 0 now determinant of the matrix a we have to find now let us write down the matrix that is 1 2 3 2 4 6 3 6 9 and determinant is 1 into 36 minus 36 minus of 2 into 18 minus 18 plus 3 into 12 minus 12 well from here you do the calculation and you find 0 so we have all three ingredients for using characteristic polynomial s1 s2 determinant of a now what we have to do to find the eigenvalues is putting all these things in the polynomial so let us do that then we put first of all we have lambda cube minus s1 s1 is 14 14 lambda square then plus s2 lambda now s2 is 0 so plus 0 then minus determinant of a and determinant of a is 0 equals to 0 then we have lambda cube minus 14 lambda square equals to 0 and this gives us if we take lambda squared as common then lambda minus 14 equals to 0 if this is equals to 0 then individually then individually lambda square is equals to 0 and lambda minus 14 equals to 0 okay now lambda square equals to 0 gives us lambda equal to plus minus root 0 and lambda minus 14 equal to 0 gives us lambda equals to 14 so we have now this gives us plus 0 minus 0 we know plus 0 is 0 minus 0 is also 0 and we have 14 here so we have three eigenvalues 0 minus 0 I'm sorry 0 0 14 because okay here I have written minus uh, 0 but let us write here the our eigenvalues are 0 0 and 14 because minus 0 is also 0 so these are the three eigenvalues we have using the characteristic polynomial I feel that this method was very easier very convenient and it has a very nice approach okay as I have told you that we have to do the finding we have to do we have to find eigenvalues using the characteristic equation so let us do that using this so for that we have using characteristic equation now we are using the second method remember this is a minus determinant of a minus lambda i is equals to zero now let us write a a is one two three our matrix 
given matrix 6 3 6 and 9 minus lambda is a constant i is the identity matrix and it has to be of the order as this so it should be 3 by 3 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 determinant equals to 0 now this is 1 2 3 2 4 6 3 6 9 minus lambda 0 0 0 lambda 0 0 0 lambda determinant equals to 0 we know how to do this now we will subtract these two matrices so we get 1 minus lambda 2 3 2 4 minus lambda 6 3 6 and 9 minus lambda determinant equals to 0 now finding determinant let us find the determinant so first of all 1 minus lambda into this multiplied minus this multiplied so 4 minus 9 so, sorry 9 minus lambda 9 minus lambda into 4 minus lambda minus 6 into 6 36 then minus of 2 into 9 minus lambda into 2 that means 9 2 into 9 minus lambda let us write minus 3 into 6 that is 18 then plus 3 into 6 to the 12 minus 3 into 4 minus lambda equals to 0 then we have 1 minus lambda and multiplying this 9 for the 36 9 into lambda equals to minus 9 lambda then minus lambda into 4 minus 4 lambda minus lambda into minus lambda plus lambda square and minus 36 minus 2 into 2 into 9 is 18 2 into lambda equals to minus lambda since sign here it is a minus sign and already minus 18 and plus we have 3 into 12 minus 3 fours are 12 minus minus plus 3 lambda equals to 0 this is important now we see that here minus 18 plus 18 cancel minus 36 plus 36 cancel minus 12 plus 12 cancel so here from we get 1 minus lambda into it's minus 9 lambda minus 4 lambda it's minus 13 lambda plus lambda square then we have minus it's uh, I'm sorry here I made a mistake that when I multiplied this then 2 into 9 was 18 and 2 into lambda should be 2 lambda so here it's a 2 lambda okay now next minus 2 into minus 2 lambda it should be plus 4 lambda then plus 3 into 3 9 lambda is equal to 0 then we have now we multiply 1 with both the terms that is minus 13 lambda plus lambda square then minus lambda with both the terms we have plus 13 lambda square and minus lambda cube plus 4 plus 9 is 13 lambda is equal to 0 now one more thing you see that minus plus minus 13 lambda and plus 13 lambda cancel each other then we have let us write down here that we have lambda square and lambda square so 14 lambda square and minus lambda cube this equals to 0 so from here 
then we have minus let us take minus as common lambda cube minus 14 lambda square equals to 0 then we take minus that side so it will be 0 ultimately and now we have 14 square lambda cube minus 14 lambda square equals to 0 now if we take lambda square as common then we have lambda minus 14 equals to 0 so individually lambda square equals to 0 and lambda minus 14 equals to 0 so lambda equals to plus minus root 0 and here lambda equals to 14 so it is plus 0 minus 0 so we have three eigenvalues 0 and this is also 0 and this is 14 so finally we have three eigenvalues so the same eigenvalues we have got but I really felt that doing the characteristic equation doing this method it was a lot of calculations when I was trying to solve that is why I prefer the characteristic polynomial equation to solve for the eigenvalues so for this case the answer is D thank you and uh, you understood that what method you should adapt for your convenience okay thank you